So we studied a drug called anisotropib um, that uh, blocks a protein that changes where cholesterol lands so that more of it stays on the good cholesterol, and you get much more good cholesterol and less bad cholesterol. And the good cholesterol can pull cholesterol out of an artery, and then it goes to the liver and is excreted out of the body. This drug is unique in that it not only lowers LDL quite a bit, like the statin drug, but now raises HDL to the ceiling. This is a comparison that you might make with a rocket going to the moon would be a small effect on HDL, which is where the field is at at present to a rocket landing on Jupiter. This, this rocket has gone way out there in terms of its effects on the good cholesterol. So the next step is to do a 30,000 patient study. This will be um, led in a global study around the world to really prove that this would reduce heart attacks and strokes and, and even the chance of dying. At present, this drug is not available, so don't call your doctor tomorrow saying, when can I get this new compound? At this point, all we have is evidence that this drug works by lowering bad cholesterol and raising good cholesterol and not causing any harm. So we can feel pretty comfortable over a year and a half that this is a curb, but we're going to have to be patient out there until that study is completed. Now, what can you do to get your good cholesterol higher? You can lose some weight. We know that about 10% of weight reduction, if you can achieve that and maintain that weight for months and uh, periods that last longer than months, the good cholesterol will come up above where it was at baseline. So losing weight is a good strategy. And by the way, being physically active also is another way to increase the good cholesterol. For most people who inherit a low level of good cholesterol, the amount of activity is just not a gentle walk a couple times a week. We need to be more active to see the benefit on the good cholesterol levels.